from Judge and Adventure Grudge and the Peach Capital and Estate, baby. All right, so I had a bunch of questions asking me why. Why did I paint this? Because this is the YouTube version. All right, so the reason why I painted that is because there was nothing done in there from the factory. So therefore, every bit of this would rot because they didn't do anything. So, so I painted this and I left the edges taped up so I can go back and brush my weld through primer and I can weld it in and burn it in and go from there. Now, I'm taping up the louvers. Here's the louvers, I'm taping it up. So, and then I'm gonna take the string and I'm gonna drop it down through the vent hole, right here, drop the string down in there. And it's pretty heavy string, pretty, pretty heavy duty masonry string. I'm gonna double up on it and go there. So in theory and concept, there's nothing down in there. So you can spray paint in there, you can pour paint in there, you can POR it, but you gotta do something because if you don't do nothing, then that E-coat is gonna come off and then you're gonna be right back in the same situation you are now, 15, 20 years from now, is the water is gonna puddle right here, get underneath that seam right there, rot your cowl out and then rot your floor pans out. It is a 40 hour job, plus or minus, to do the upper and lower cowl because you gotta take the windshield out, you gotta take this out, you gotta take the fenders off, you gotta take the hood off. It's a 40 hour job, plus or minus. On this car, it ended up being the upper and lower cowl, the firewall, and the full floor pants. So it is a lot of stuff going on. So, how you gonna get it out, Jake? How you gonna, what, what, what you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna leave this tape on here. Now, this is pretty good Gorilla tape. Uh, it's taped on there, it's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this tape on here. The car's gonna have to be blasted after the fact. So it's gotta stay on here because once they blast over, I don't want them to blast down in there and get in there. Then the car's gonna have to be metal treated. The car's gonna have to be epoxy. The car's gonna have to be blocked. It's gonna have to be sanded. Just blah, 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 all this is going on. So once it's blasted and epoxy, I'm gonna cover up the louvers on the top side to keep anything from getting on the, the tape to loosen up the adhesive on it because don't need a lot of, lot of activity going on on top of the louvers. Then when it gets almost finished time, then I will pull the tape on the front side and I'll hand sand inside the louvers and then I will leave the tape. I will leave this tape here and then when the car gets painted, it's all done. What I'll do is I'll reach in here and I'll grab this string. Now look how I got this string. So this string is snaked. This string right here, look here. Let me see if I can get it like that. All right, this string starts here with the tail end here, all right? This string does like this. Oh, 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 this string does like this and just keeps going and going and going and going. And then I looped it back out and come back around. So now what's gonna happen is, here's the tail, right? So I tied the beginning tail to the center loop, then loop this loop into that loop, took the long tail, run it through this loop and this loop, it'll be run through both of these loops. So when I pull the string, through the canal right there, that hole right there, when I pull the string, what's gonna happen is this right here. This string is gonna pull tight. And as it pulls tight, it's gonna pull up the tape and it's gonna do it like in a banana. It's gonna start doing like this right here. And as the tape is pulling up on it, or excuse me, as the string is pulling tight, it's gonna take all four of those loops and it's gonna make a cradle or a basket, or a noose, whatever you want to call it, and it's going to suck all that tape up into a wad in a knot, and then it's going to go whoop, right down through the tunnel, right through the tunnel hole. Then, when you walk by and look at the car, 
you're only gonna see about this much of it anyway. When you walk by, somebody looks in there and gonna say, man, they got the inside of that louver painted the same color as the body. How in the world did they do that? That is the concept of what I got going on. Now, I cannot take credit for this. Uh, a guy that I work, got, actually a guy that I work with at the college, now he's my boss at the college, at the Richard Petty Education Center. I've asked a bunch of friends, hi man, what would you do? And different ideas, whatever. And I know years ago, it came back to me, he did a 65 Mustang or 66 Mustang and he painted the stripes. The stripes on the hood was the same inside the cow and on the louvers. I remembered and then I asked him and he said, this is what he did. He painted this part, striped it, welded it in, it was cleared, put the top on, welded the top on, done this. Now he didn't run the string like this. He run the tape and he said he just put a loop in there and he pulled it and he fished it out and he had to just keep getting it out and he eventually got it out. So I took his idea and modified it and worked off of it. And I'm very confident it's gonna work because I put it up there for a rough gauge scenario, popped some screws in the corner of it, pulled the string, We've done that, it wadded it up and it poof, right down through the hole it went. So it's going to work. Uh, it is what it is. So is it necessary, guys, that pour paint down into the louvers? Is that okay? Sure. It's better than what Ford did, and Ford didn't do anything. Uh, some guys said, won't you just leave the E coat on it, run some cavity wax in there after you paint the car, blow cavity wax in there, and leave it the black E coat. You can do that as well. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I just didn't want to do that because. Uh, when you have the e-coat in there and then you have the wax, uh, then the wax is in there and it's gummy and then hot and cold, hot and cold. The sun's blaring down on this firewall out in the parking lot. It's going to loosen up that wax and that wax is going to end up puddling and you're going to end up being raw right there because it's crowned. Um, so then you got dirt and trash. When the wax gets hot, the dirt gets into it hot and cold, hot and cold. Then you got dirt and you got trash, you got dust like that. Then it's still gonna get in there and it's still gonna rust. I say it's gonna rust. So I'm gonna do it this way. Uh, by doing it this way, uh, and I even seam sealed around the pinch welds before I welded it. Uh, it's not in the video, but I did. So I hope this helps somebody out. Is this overkill? It is. Um, is it necessary? Uh, you gotta do something, fellas, or it's gonna rot. Um, I appreciate everybody. Make sure you go to the Facebook page. Give me a like, give me a follow, give me a share. Make sure you watch some reels. I got a lot of reels up um, with different little things in it. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And remember what I said, fellas, don't worry about the man up the road. Don't worry about the man down the road. Sweep off your own front porch before you worry about sweeping off anybody else's. Put God first, let loose in drag. Peace, love, and chin grace. I'm out.